Now let's talk about the power reducing formulas and how to derive them. Cosine 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. That's one of the three forms of the double angle formula for cosine. Now from this formula, we're going to get the power reducing formula for sine squared. All you got to do is isolate sine squared in this equation. So I'm going to move 2 sine squared to the left side. So it's going to become positive and cosine 2 theta, I'm going to move it to the right side. So 2 sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine 2 theta. And now all we need to do is divide by 2. So here's the power reducing formula of sine squared. Sine squared is 1 minus cosine 2 theta divided by 2. Now let's start with another equation. We know that 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 is cosine 2 theta. So this is the double angle formula of cosine. Now let's isolate cosine squared. Let's add 1 to both sides. So 2 cosine squared theta is equal to 1 plus cosine 2 theta. And now we just got to divide by 2. So here's the power reducing formula of cosine squared. It's 1 plus cosine 2 theta divided by 2. It's very similar to sine squared. Instead of a plus, for sine squared you have a minus. Now let's move on to tangent squared. Tangent squared theta is equal to sine squared divided by cosine squared. Now we have the power reducing formula of sine squared. And that's 1 minus cosine 2 theta divided by 2. And the power reducing formula of cosine squared is 1 plus cosine 2 theta divided by 2. So if we multiply both sides by 2, the top and bottom, we'll get this formula for tangent squared. It's 1 minus cosine 2 theta divided by 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So that is the power reducing formula of tangent squared. So make sure you write all three formulas that we just went over. Consider the expression for sine squared x cosine squared x. How can we use the power reducing formula to simplify this expression? To rewrite the trigonometric expression such that all of the exponents of sine and cosine is equal to 1. So we know the formula of sine squared. The power reducing formula of sine squared theta, or sine squared x, is going to be 1 minus cosine 2x divided by 2. And the power reducing formula of cosine squared is simply 1 plus cosine 2x divided by 2. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 4. 1 minus cosine 2x times 1 plus cosine 2x, all divided by 4, which we could cancel these two. And now let's FOIL these two expressions. So first we have 1 times 1, and that's going to be 1, and then 1 times cosine 2x, that's simply cosine 2x. These two they will multiply to be negative cosine 2x. And the last one, negative cosine 2x times positive cosine 2x, that's negative cosine squared 2x. Now let's simplify this expression. We can combine like terms. So this becomes 1. These two they cancel, by the way. They add up to 0. So we have 1 minus cosine squared 2x. Now we can use the power reducing formula on cosine squared. We know that cosine squared x is 1 plus cosine 2x divided by 2. So therefore, cosine squared 2x, if we double this angle from x to 2x, then this angle will double from 2x to 4x. So this is going to be 1 plus cosine 4x divided by 2. 
And so we want to replace this expression with the expression that we have here. So then this becomes 1 minus 1 plus cosine 4x divided by 2. Now I'm going to distribute the negative sign. And I'm going to separate this fraction into two parts. So first we have 1 divided by 2. That's a half with a negative sign in front. So this is 1 minus a half. And then cosine 4x divided by 2 with a negative in front. So then that's going to be negative 1 half cosine 4x. Now 1 minus a half is a half. So we have a half minus a half cosine 4x. I'm going to factor out the 1 half. So it's 1 half, 1 minus cosine 4x. And so that's our simplified result. So this is equal to our original expression, 4 sine squared cosine squared. Now let's work on another example. Let's use the power reducing formulas to reduce 16 sine to the fourth x. So what we can do is rewrite sine to the fourth as sine squared squared. And now let's use the power reducing formula of sine squared. So this is 1 minus cosine 2x divided by 2 squared. And I'm going to rewrite that as 16 1 minus cosine 2x squared over 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 and 16 divided by 4 is just 4. So what we now have is 4 times 1 minus cosine 2x squared, which is 1 minus cosine 2x times another 1 minus cosine 2x. Now let's go ahead and FOIL. So 1 times 1, uh, that's simply 1. And then we have 1 times negative cosine 2x. And then negative, co um, excuse me, negative cosine 2x times 1. And then lastly, we have negative cosine 2x times negative cosine 2x. And that's positive cosine squared 2x. So now our next step is to combine like terms. And so negative cosine minus cosine, that's negative 2 cosine. Now we need to use the power reducing formula on this expression, cosine squared. So what we now have is 4 times 1 minus 2 cosine 2x. And cosine squared, that's 1 plus cosine. But we have to double the angle from 2x to 4x. And this is going to be divided by 2. So now what should we do at this point? What's our next step? Now let's distribute the 4. So this is going to be 4 minus 8 cosine 2x. And then if we multiply 4 by this entire fraction, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is going to be just plus 2 times 1 plus cosine 4x. Now let's distribute the 2. So that's going to be plus 2 plus 2 cosine 4x. And we're not quite finished yet because we can combine 4 and 2. So now the final answer is going to be 2 cosine 4x minus 8 cosine 2x and 4 plus 2 is 6. So that's the final answer.